This is a review for the Forza 3 limited edition race seat from Amazon. So this package isn't cheap, I admit, but is it a good value? I think so. The immersive experience that you get when you're behind the wheel with these new style driving games, Need for Speed Shift and of course Forza 3, that actually put you in the cockpit. Now you actually can sit in the cockpit. The experience is amazing. So what do you get is big old giant box, everything is included in here. They also throw in the wheel adapter, they say it retails for $30. This actually allows the 360 steering wheel to mount directly to the seat and really holds it tight, better than Velcro or Zippy Ties or anything else you might attempt. And of course, it includes the game, $60 value, at least at the time when I bought it. So let me talk about a couple of the features that the steering wheel comes with. One, it has a lot of adjustments. One adjustment, if you loosen here, brings the steering wheel closer. You can't tilt it downward or upward, but at least it does give you the ability to make adjustments. There's also two adjustments on the bottom here. One adjustment, again, also allows you to bring the steering wheel and the pedals closer. And the third adjustment does exactly the same type of thing. So it really gives you three different types of approaches to kind of get it exactly where you want it so you can really dive deep into it. Um, to get the steering wheel to attach, as I mentioned before, it does come with a bracket. You have a traditional table mount that comes with the 360 steering wheel. There's just a simple release button here, pops it off. Otherwise, if you don't get the bracket, my assumption is I haven't tried it, but you'd probably have to ratchet this thing down to get it to attach. And as you know, if you've tried to attach this to tables or anything else, it's a little bit loose when you're kind of getting into it. I'm not exactly a really good driver, so I'm kind of yanking it because I'm always going into the dirt. Um, but with this situation, as you can see, you can really pull into it. The pedals also have a clamp that goes over the base of the pedals and they supply some Velcro, which you also supply some Velcro here for some extra stability. So the pedals, if you really want to get into it, step on it, break it, you can do left-right pedals, you can come back and forth with a single foot, go-kart style, real driving style, however you wish, it's actually quite easy. And then as far as the cables go, they actually supply zippy ties for the cables. I actually didn't opt for the zippy ties because I plan to actually use this for when Gran Turismo comes out. Of course, the PS3 steering wheel will attach to this as well, so you can use it for both systems. So I just used some of the little black electrical Velcro done for wires behind your TV and just attach some Velcro to kind of keep the wires so, of course, you don't want to step on them while you're getting into it. So let's talk fit and finish. All the metal structure looks like it's made of really good quality powder coating. Real smooth, really well finished. There's no chips in the paint, at least not when it was shipped to me. Has a real fine look to it big giant advertisements on it. The stitching is fantastic. It uses a double stitched all the way across and it's all in red. The logo is actually real done. A little big for my taste but it's not bad. And the seat cushion actually is removable. So if there is a height issue, I'm six feet, I fit no problem but for whatever reason if there was an issue you could take it out and put something else in there if you needed to. And now to address probably one of the bigger issues is where are you going to store this thing? It actually has a pretty innovative system. Open up the back and you actually release these pins and see if I can do it smooth enough and quick enough here. But once you release the pins in the back for stability, you can close it down. The seat actually folds down. It doesn't collapse that much, but of course with the adjustments I showed you earlier, you can compact this thing into you know, pretty good space. It's not going to slide under a bed, but it's also not going to take up the same amount of space it is when it's in the plane mode. So, is it going to make you a better driver? I actually think so. It puts you in the right position, it puts the pedals exactly where you need them. But really what it comes down to, oops, I can't drive while filming is that it really dives you right into the game. You actually find yourself sitting upright, looking ahead, and really having this immersive, immersive experience, unlike very few things I've ever done before. I highly, highly recommend purchasing this setup. I'm in the dirt.